Hi, my love, beautiful souls. It's Mystic Rules 1111. I'm back with you. Bring it back into light. Please take it with needs and leave this not fit for somebody else. Click the read number three. Okay, we're going to jump into this. Holy Spirit, angels, and this is light and the most high. Please give me a crack at everything for the collective. What do you need to know about the situation? The storm is coming in fast, okay? There's a storm coming in super fast. Rapidly. Fast. I, I, I'm seeing like really fast. Okay, like in the middle of nowhere, this storm is coming in. Okay, prepare, prepare, prepare. Okay, people don't see this coming. Prepare. What's going on with this storm? What's going on with this storm coming in super fast? Destruction. Lots of destruction. One of the biggest storms ever. I'm hearing a hurricane. Okay, I'm hearing hurricane. Is there a hurricane coming in? We're in hurricane season. Creator. Traitor. God causes storms. This is coming from God. This is coming from the universe. The creator. The storm is meant to happen. Okay, we, we, we can't question why storms happen. We can't question why things happen, okay? We gotta just trust the process. Trust what's happening is meant to happen for a reason. Everything happens for a reason, okay? There's going to be some crying, some sadness, emotions. Okay, what's going on with the storm? Storm coming in fast. Blink of an eye. Power outage. You could be a mentor. Okay, helping others. Guiding others. Teaching others. Wisdom. People look up to you. The warrior. What's destroyed can be rebuilt, okay, you guys? It can be rebuilt. Trust trust God can protect you. When I hear storms and I hear destruction and I hear chaos and I hear, you know, things falling apart, everything like that, I think of, uh, of Psalms 91, protection, okay? God will protect you if you truly believe, okay? Psalms 91. Psalms 91, read that, okay? That's what I'm getting. Okay, he will protect you from pestilence. He will protect you. He will protect you from any storms. Protect you, protect you from your enemies. Okay, there's an invisible enemy, okay? An invisible enemy is attacking you. Okay, you took a vow to yourself. Okay, you took a vow to yourself, protecting yourself. The box. Someone feels like they're locked in. They can't move. They can't go anywhere. This is you aligning with your higher self. Connecting your higher self. You committed to God. You committed to the most high. Someone could be getting married as well, too. Okay, what's going on with the storm? A mother. You could have predicted this. Okay, you could have, you could have prophesied this. You could have had a premonition. You could have seen the storm before it even happened. Okay, that box too, I'm seeing like a cellar. Okay, I'm seeing like a, you know, a tornado shelter where you go underground, okay, for tornadoes. Okay, or boarding up a buildings and stuff like that. You're a loving person, sweet as nectar. Fruits. Prayer. Pray. Pray for protection for you, your family, your community, your loved ones, okay? When you're praying, it's not always about praying for your, just yourself. It's praying about your community. Praying for, you know, safety, protection. The heart. Or the I said heart. The healer. Your natural born healer. You heal the sick. And sick could just be, you know, mentally ill. Somebody heals mentally ill, like... Uh, they may not be like sick as in like cancer or terminal ill. It's like people that are mentally ill, sick, like have depression, anxiety, um, schizophrenia, stuff like that. You heal them. You help them with, um, heal, okay? Mind, body, and soul. So that could be a shaman as well too. You could be a shaman. Okay, what, why? So you, th this isn't like I'm getting your energy. So I'm getting like, you may be in the, you may be in this eye of the storm. Okay, something about the eye of the storm. You may be in the center of the storm, okay? But you being in this eye of the storm, you're going to be protected. Okay, because look at this. Eye of the storm, like in the middle, right here. 
If there's a gem, you're this gem. You're gonna be protected by this storm that's around you. There's a storm surge, okay? Same here too. And a pearl inside. All this, wow. So you're like being protected. Here again. There's like a gem in each of these, okay? A circle, like whatever's happening, you're gonna be protected. Here again. I didn't even see that before. All of them coming out. Like I didn't realize that before. Okay? Protection. Don't go into the eye of the storm, okay? Don't go into it. It's gonna, uh, is there a hurricane coming in? Is there a hurricane coming in? Okay. Alabama, Louisiana, okay. Um, Florida, the Gulf Coast. Earlier I said storm earlier, uh, Pacific, but I'm hearing, I'm hearing Gulf Coast, but I'm also hearing Pacific, okay? Both are it's gonna get hit. Many people are gonna get hit. Barbado. Let's see what that, I don't know what Barbado means, you guys. Okay, just a minute. Barbados. Barbados. Something about Bar Barbados. Isn't there Barbados uh, Island? Bardo. Meaning. I don't, know that, I don't know what that means. Okay, this means between the state of death and rebirth. An intermediate transitional or liminal state between death and rebirth. Somebody's in between death and rebirth. Somebody's transforming the storm. Okay, this could be a spiritual storm too. I was hearing non physical, I was hearing physical, and I'm hearing spiritual storm. Okay, we are on a spiritual warfare. We are on a spiritual attack. Okay, we have invisible enemies that are attacking us. Okay, these invisible enemies are causing these storms, these storm surges. I'm hearing stay medit or stay mindful. Okay, stay mindful. Meditate, okay, stay mindful, ground, meditate, balance, okay, during the storm. Because the storm is non-physical and physical and spiritual, okay? So make sure you stay grounded because you are a warrior. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to beat this, okay? Whatever happens, you're going to be protected. This could be emotional. This could be emotional, especially like this here. This could be depression, anxiety too. Like, it's just like, it's brewing up. The storm, it's just, it's, it's brewing up, okay? We are connected to Gaia. We are connected to the mother Gaia, okay? Earth is Gaia. Mother. We're connected. The Schumann residence, okay? Someone needs to look into that too, okay? So when when there's a storm that God creates, Gaia creates, okay? Gaia and God, same, okay? Universe. When it happens, we connect so we can feel it too. Some, oh, wow. Shit. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. My knee was, okay, so my knee was hurting earlier. My left knee was hurting earlier. And I know when my knee hurts, there's a big storm coming in. I didn't think of that um, at all. And it was hurting a little bit. But then my husband had some really bad cramps in his legs last night. Really bad. And then again today. And, like, it just, it clicked on me. Like, he's feeling it too. We can feel, you guys, we feel this stuff, okay? Our bodies, we can have aches and pains, okay? Um, especially when you're really connected to the, connected to the spiritual, um, the spiritual realm and connected to Gaia. When you're grounded. My husband's very grounded when he gets outside in nature, okay, with um, playing disc golf I'm always outside so being grounded we connect so we can feel that before it happens okay so this is gonna be big 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 major storm because with how my husband's um cramped up last night legs cramped up and how my knee was hurting this is gonna be a big big storm like massive massive storm like tsunami storm like big storm okay and again physical if it you know what I mean or spiritual and like with, yeah, when I'm getting spiritual mentally storm, I'm getting this mental storm, I'm hearing like somebody's literally gonna freaking lash out and freak the fuck out and like explode with destruction and they're gonna end up like in the psych ward. Okay, I'm like literally seeing somebody ending up in the psych ward. Okay, because they are out, they're enraged, they're, they're exploding, they're, you know, really, somebody's releasing a lot of freaking energy, a lot of negative energy, a lot of negative energy, they're releasing a lot of it, which. Sometimes that happens, like, it's, it's actually a good thing. Like I said, so everything happens for a reason. So this person that could be en enraged and ready to explode, they're releasing it, and it's causing a big storm around, okay? Which they could end up in the psych ward. Someone could end up in the psych ward. Okay? You could be the cross watcher, or you're dealing with somebody that could end up in the psych ward. You could be dealing with somebody that's ready to explode, blow up, Okay? cause chaos destruction in in your world you are a bridge okay bridge bridging something together keeping peace and i said heart there's a heart open heart someone may have an open heart surgery just heard 
Okay, that could be something somebody just had open heart surgery. Okay, somebody could have had open heart surgery. That could be a confirmation, or you know somebody that had open heart surgery. Somebody's causing some conflict in someone's life. Okay, what's going on here? It's going to storm. Evacuation. Get out, get out while you can, okay, I'm here. get out while you can, evacuation, okay, escape the storm, okay, you need to get away from the storm, you need to get away from this person, you need to get away from this real storm, okay, you need to get away, there's a priestess out here, see, you knew something, you prophesied something, you were shown the storm, you had a vision of the storm, and this knowing, this feeling, the enemy, that's abusive, spiritual warfare, spiritual attack, somebody could be ending up going to the hospital too, okay, somebody could be getting hurt going to the hospital, Okay, there may, uh, what's it called, um, Red Cross, okay, so I'm hearing Red Cross, I'm hearing FEMA, FEMA could be coming too, I said earlier, this is Divine Feminine, Divine Feminine, okay, you're a warrior, you're strong, that you could also, the, the healer, the Divine Feminine, you could be someone that's coming in with FEMA and being a nurse, helping, you could be giving, um, giving back, okay, you took a vow to protect, to serve, to help, you took a vow to Commit to Most High God and He will protect you. Divine Feminine is also connected to Earth Gaia, okay? There's a karmic fem that could be freaking out, okay? Causing the storm. Ending up in, like, a psych ward or ending up in jail. Like, literally losing it. Somebody's literally losing their shit, okay? They're losing it. They're literally going bonkers, okay? Bazooka. I just heard a bazooka. I don't know. I just heard that. I just heard bazooka. Family. Could be praying for your family, protecting your family. Fam a family member could be putting someone in a psych ward. This family could be putting this karmic. Okay. Getting her locked up. Health concerns. Hospital visits. Hospitalization. Somebody's getting a hospitaliza hospitalization. They're going to be hospitalized. They have anti attachment. Unclean spirit. Energy vampire. Psychic vampire. Demon. A rage demon. Okay, somebody has a rage demon. Envy demon. Despiteful demon, like deceit. Those are demons, you guys. Be more. Love. These demons, maybe these entity attachments, demons are trying to attach to you. Okay, trying to attach to you. You're not going to allow them. You're not going to allow these leeches and parasites. Jealous and envy. Abusive. Someone's very, very abusive. Aggressive. There's you're the healer. Someone abused a healer. Some kind of health concerns for a family as well. Mature man. Okay, we have somebody that's abusing a mature man, okay? That is trying to manipulate a mature man. Trying to manipulate you. This mature man. Jealous envy of this mature man.
The storms come knocking on your door. The storm is coming. I mean, there's no stopping this storm. Okay, like I said, protect your home too. Okay, somebody about boarding your home or um, you need to evacuate your home. Somebody needs to evacuate their home. They need to get out. Okay, or go under. If there's a tornado coming. You need to go down in the tornado cellar, the basement, whatever, or a shelter. Go to a shelter. Okay, where you can be protected. If you're driving, you're traveling. Get off the road. Get to the safest spot you can get to. Okay, get to the safest spot you can get to. They're waiting, expecting this, okay? Preparing. They don't think it's going to be that big, but it's going to be big. This can be big, 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 big. Okay, somebody's trying to say hello to you. Hello, I'm here. You could run into somebody. You've been working really, really hard. Work, labor's efforts. Busting your butt, busting your ass. Stepping in your divinity. Being in the divinity or divination. Protect your businesses. I'm hearing some businesses could be affected. Okay, business could be affected. You may want insurance on your businesses. Okay. Something about your business could be affected. Devoted. Okay. This is the same as taking a vow. Devoted. Okay. You're devoted to the divine. You're divided, devoted to God. Devoted to the universe. You could be devoted to a soulmate too. A soulmate's coming in. Crazy, this card's I the reason I grabbed these because I know there's a tornado and the tornado card in here, but it didn't come out. Came out earlier reading, but I don't know. Okay, let's see what else what else going on here. Somebody's losing a home, a business, property. How are you giving back? So you could be somebody giving back to this mature man to be giving back. Okay, helping giving back their time. We have leaders. Somebody's a leader. Children. Oh, let's go about the storm. The storm. A teacher. Academic. Me oh, mentor again. Mentor again. Protecting children. Okay, protecting your children. You are a leader. You are a boss. I did see the boss card on the deck too. Look at it here. Oh. It's here, but. We can't control this weather, okay? This is this this is this is God. God's only can control, okay, guys? Okay, we have Buddhist, Christian, someone's a hermit, mystic. Okay, mystic, Buddhist, Christian, hermit, Aztec, water disaster, flood, drowned, tsunami, tropical storm, loss at sea, hurricane. Confirmation. Rural living, a farmer, which we had, okay, so this could be farmer, farm, farmland could get ruined, okay? A hunter, peasant, rural area, small little community. We have a goalie, a manipulator, flying monkey. They saw you as an easy target, somebody saw you as an easy target. And we have wealth, again. Inheritance. Okay, now this is from last reading. What came up? Someone wealthy can be giving back their time to help out, okay? 
trying to help in a situation. Somebody's mentally tortured right now, being physically mentally tortured. <laughs> Bless me. Wow. This would be... Help a neighbor out. I'm hearing help a neighbor out, okay? If a neighbor needs help, help them out from the storm, okay? Ride that wave. Ride that wave. Hurricane. Tsunami. Coming in. There's dolphins. Water. The beach came out earlier. I heard it earlier. They're re reading. Okay, the beach is going to get hit. The coast. The Gulf Coast. The Pacific Coast. Going to get hit. Someone could be a surfer, too. Somebody's hitting rock bottom. This is the spiritual part. This is somebody that, like I said, is actually losing everything. And then it's fucking them losing everything. They're literally exploding rage and um, all this um, animosity, you know, temper. Um, somebody's having a temper tantrum and stuff like that. Um, it's because they hit rock bottom. They lost everything. They have nothing left. Magic prayer. Pray. For protection. Wizard of Awareness. Okay, this is where you were aware of this. Okay, like I said, wizard. Um, wizards also can be... Um, they're magical beings, okay? They they can create things as well. Okay, but this is something about you being aware. Okay, uh, what's the other card? What's it? Um, magician. Okay, the magician. Okay. You know something. Like, this is you knowing something. Some kind of clarity coming out. Details. Somebody's getting stuck in the mud. They're not going to be able to move. They're not going to be able to go. Okay, there could be a mudslide too. A landslide mudslide. Dirt road. The flooding too. Stuck in the mud. Flooding. Cars, vehicles being stuck. Somebody's a shape shapeshifter. Shapeshift energies. Shapeshifts. You're dealing with a shapeshifter. You could be this wizard. They could be a shapeshifter. Shape not all shapeshifters are bad, you guys. Okay? There are good shapeshifters up there, too. This also, too, what I'm seeing like this is that the weather's changing, okay? The atmosphere, okay? It's changing really quick, really fast. Really quick, really fast. I'm getting, I'm hearing go to dry land. Okay, go to dry land. Unexpected visitors, people popping up. This could be, when I heard somebody like, we could have a welfare check, okay? The cops coming, checking up on somebody. Welfare check. Somebody's, um, need to seek, they, someone needs to seek medical treatment, okay? Right away. Someone needs to seek medical treatment. They hit rock bottom, they've lost everything. And this is this, this, them, they're out of control. They out of control. Things are collapsing in front of them. This is causing some PTSD too. Okay, somebody has, somebody is in, somebody could be acting with PTSD. PTSD, if you guys want to know, is post-traumatic stress disorder. Okay, post-traumatic stress disorder. They're reliving of an event. Somebody's reliving an event that's caused this PTSD. I have PTSD. I've actually healed it. Um, it hasn't came out. Like, I guess if someone came up and tried to hit me again, I probably have PTSD. But I haven't been hit since a long time ago for a few years. Uh, but I got PTSD. For a car accident, I got PTSD from my dad. I got PTSD. You get them from different things. But the biggest one was when I was getting beat up. Okay, like literally beat up. Like punched in my head. Kicked in my ribs. And it's like actually beat the fuck up. Like ended up in the hospital. Okay, from a relationship. 
uh, I had PTSD. I when someone would start yelling at me, I would literally, literally be scared and I'd uh, curl up and stuff. So I, I had PTSD after my car accident. Okay, so different people get it. But it's called post traumatic just stress disorder. Um, you can heal from it. But there's no medication for it. Okay, there's no medication. It's about doing shadow work, healing that trauma, and going within, and then like cutting out toxic things, behaviors, and stuff. So like. One way I don't have PTSD about physical fights because I'm not around people anymore that are going to put hands on me. I'm not around people that are like arguing, fighting, and yelling and stuff like that. You know, I'm not dealing with that shit anymore. Um, car accidents, I'm more safe and stuff. But that sometimes when I see a car, it'd be like, or a car accident, I'm like, wow. But um, in like snowstorms, okay, in snowstorms, I guess. If it's a snowstorm, I will drive really slow now, like really, really slow now because of a car accident. Even though we weren't in a car accident during the winter times, like I will literally drive really slow, like really slow, like 10, 15 miles per hour, 20 miles per hour when people are going like 50, 60 miles an hour because of the fact I was in a serious car accident. Okay. Um, but I'm not, I'm not like freaking out like I used to, but I, I, I drive slower now. Okay. There is, um, techniques to help with PTSD okay so someone may need help with that assistance with that and it comes and goes too post-traumatic stress disorder comes and goes okay but there is ways to heal there's a lot of healing to do a lot of work to do and not to have living fear that's the thing is I, I not living in fear that's one thing that helped me you know overcome my PTSD is not living in fear so when I'm in a car like I know car accidents can happen but I don't I don't fear the car accident, okay? I just prepare myself and I still be aware of things and I'm, you know, taking precautions. Well, I'll get in a car and I'll start praying to God, asking God to protect me during a snowstorm. And God will be like, God will tell me, drive slow, you'll be protected. I got you. Something about July, so we birthday in July. Flowers, happiness. Acts. Force is working against you, okay? Yeah, see, force working against you. Like I said, the hidden enemy, okay? Invisible enemy, okay? Working against you, okay? These storms are also caused by, you know, spiritual warfare, spiritual attacks. Like I said, it can be spiritual storm too. Blowing up in the spiritual realm. Vine. Seek out information that will help you. Someone needs help. Someone needs to seek some kind of information. Seek medical help. Okay? Someone needs some assistance that can help them. Someone needs a mentor. That's going back to that. So this person is hitting rock bottom that may need like some uh, assistance. They may need a mentor that can help them, guide them in the right path. Okay? They may need someone that's like a healer to help them as well. It's too many. Sleeping into or stepping into a new um, experience. Okay, something, something. The knee, the leg. Some of you having leg pains, cramping to knees. Okay, it's just a new experience, but your your joints may hurt a little bit if the storm's happening. Okay, you may feel it. Your your body may feel a little weak, a little bit exhausted. There will be happy times. Okay, sunrise, new creative ideas, new adventures, fresh start. This is gonna be a new fresh start. Okay, there will be. And this is a period of health, ill health and depression. Somebody's depressed. Somebody's really, really low. Okay? And they, they're being really low vibration. And they're somebody's causing the storm spiritually. Okay? Okay, yep. Take care. Enemies are working against you. Somebody's trying to attack you. Somebody's trying to cause this. There's a rainbow. Rainbow out after the, after these storms. Beautiful rainbow. The most difficult part of a situation is over. After the storm, it's going to be a beautiful situation, okay? It's going to bring change. It's going to bring movement. I wish I could explain it the way I'm hearing and how I understand about... Oh, I, don't know how, I don't know how to explain it. Because I have 
dyslexic or I'm dyslexic and so it's hard for me to explain something that I understand that I understand that Spirit told me and try to explain it to you guys um because my learning disability I'm in my traumatic brain injury too how to explain it it's like because I have a TBI you guys I have a traumatic brain injury if you don't know TBI is a traumatic brain injury I have one of those and it's I hear things I know things I understand it for myself but it's hard for me to put into words for to um explain it to you um on like the spirit, spiritual storm, like, like we can cause storms in our lives. Okay, we can cause storms in our lives. Like, if I'm really angry, mad, and something's going bad in my life, and like my life is fucking falling apart, like I did in 2019, I cause a lot of rain. Okay, or I felt like I caused a lot of rain. This okay. Some of you guys are gonna think like, okay, spirit wants me to say this, but some of you guys will be like. She's fucking bad shit crazy. She fucking thinks that she's like, I'm not, okay? But I, I've seen something that was telling me, okay? So in 2019, when I was really, really in a little spot going through my awakening and my husband, so-called boy, my husband, at, my boyfriend at the time, which is my husband now, got locked up after my car, our, our car accident. And like people thought I didn't know what I was talking about. They thought I was crazy, losing my mind. Um, I went through a lot of, a lot of shit. I was going through a dark night of soul, okay, which was crazy. And then I was being, I was being gaslighted, okay. I was being gaslighted. I was being bullied. I was being manipulated. I was being catfished, okay. Of uh, from 2017 to, to actually 2021, but it was the biggest time. The heart, the worst time was 2018 to 2019 of being catfished and gaslighted and bullied and manipulated and stuff like that. And like I was, my life was like changing around me. And like what happened is. It was very beautiful out. Some of you, like I said, some of you guys are not going to want to believe this, but when you connect to a higher dimension, higher realm, you'll, you'll understand what I'm talking about, okay? But I was, when I was happy, it would be like sunny out around me, okay? Around my, my, my community, around my, around my aura, around where I was at, okay? When I was in a happy spot and I was calm and I was serene and I was balanced, you would see like calm, balance, and like things around me, Okay? Uh, this is not like that's what I'm saying. This is con higher consciousness, spiritual thing. And then when I was like literally losing my shit, because I was, I was like literally losing my shit because everything in my life, all this stuff was happening to me. Like people didn't want to believe me. People weren't listening to me. People didn't want to believe me what was going on. Okay. I was trying to explain to them everything I was saying when I'm telling people now, like what I'm going through. I'm trying to warn, I was trying to warn people. I didn't know I was psychic, a prophet, you know what I mean? A psychic intuitive and prophesizing things okay i didn't think I, I didn't realize i was having visions and i was you know i was trying to help people i just was saying this stuff and I, everyone thought i was crazy okay and i would literally freak the fuck out okay i would literally get so mad so angry and shit then would be a chaos around my life okay I'm, I'm giving you examples so it would be chaos around my life well when i was in my chaotic life and my life was all all over the place because i was like all the place like i was literally all over the place here 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 everywhere like that's how i felt and my mind was that way too Okay, and yes, I was an active addiction too, okay, but I wasn't using as much as I was in the past, and so, like, everyone said it was the drugs. It wasn't fully the drugs, you guys, and that's not me saying as an addict because I was using more before. This was because I was going through a dark night of soul. I was going through this awakening. I was, I was experiencing things. My, I was awakening, okay, my con, like, hearing things, like, knowing things from the higher dimensions, okay, realms, and so it was like a lot of things were happening at once and stuff like that, okay, and... So when that was happening and I was all the place, things were happening really bad in Rochester, like around me in Rochester, around the area I was ha living, okay? So it would just rain nonstop. It would storm, okay? Then all of a sudden, it was, there was weird things like a buffalo was running out or these people were acting like this and stuff like this. Things were acting like weird around me, okay? All this shit was happening weird around me. And this could be something like well, I was perceiving it, you know? And like I was telling people that. And everyone told me I was fucking crazy. People tell me. And then I'm like, I'm controlling the weather. I'm controlling the weather. Like, I'm angry and mad. Well, I'm angry and mad. It's storming out. It was, you know. And then it was all happy and bubbly. It was sunny out. Okay. That's the only way I can explain it to you guys as much as I possibly can. But someone could be causing these storms because of what they're going through. Okay. And it, it may not just be one person. It could be several people. Okay. Because their mind, their their they're heated up, they're worked up, they're stressed out. So they're causing these storms around them because they're, they're, they, they're very powerful. They're, you know, they may not mean to do it, but 
we're very, our minds can be very powerful and we can connect. So I've noticed, I'm trying to explain the best I can. I notice when I get really angry and mad still, because I, I get angry and mad, you guys. I notice it's really gloomy outside, really dark, and a storm is going to come. When I, In this summer, it's been very, very sunny. Very, very sunny, warm. We haven't had a lot of storm. We get rain and stuff, but like, you know, storm. I've been very in a happy mood, okay? Um, and God's the one that creates it all, but we can connect, okay? And so it's all energy is energy. So when we're in a negative energy, when we're in a dark energy, we can create that around us. So I'm trying to say, I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So this hurricane tsunami is coming in. This is somebody's emotions as well connected. And it's like building up, okay? Building up, building up. And it's ready to release. It's ready to let go. Because somebody's been building something up inside of them. And now it's ready to release, let go. That could be an analogy too. I don't, you know what I mean? Like I don't, I'm trying to explain the best I can. I hope that makes sense. I really do. Somebody feels trapped, okay? They're, they're the box. I see somebody feels trapped. They feel trapped. They feel like they can't go anywhere, okay? Their mind, okay? And they need to release the trap of the devil. This person's literally trapped by the devil. They're, they're stuck. There's an accident, okay? Some kind of accident can happen. Car crash. And look at it. It looks like a storm there. An accident from a storm, okay? Somebody could be getting an accident from a storm. I'm gonna survive this, okay? I'm here and survive, survive this. Okay. Look at man-made disaster. Trading this. They feel like they're locked up inside. They can't get out. Somebody's going to be locked up inside. Somebody's going to be locked up in a psych ward, okay? Seek mental treatment. Drying up, desert, get to a dry spot, preserve, okay, I'm here and preserve, camels, the storm, there could be a sandstorm, there could be even a sandstorm, okay, sandstorm, there could be a storm in a desert that doesn't ever storm, okay, there could be a real rainstorm, maybe a flood in a, a desert that never happens, this could be something that's rare, okay, something rare, I just heard some kind of storm that's rare, that they don't usually see a storm, and it could flood, it could, do some damage, okay? Some kind of damage because it doesn't usually happen. We have a celebrity coming out. Okay. I don't know, a celebrity, somebody who's a rapper, singer. Missing. People could be missing because of this, okay? Getting washed away. Celebrity could be missing. There's death. I was hearing death. This person may be causing death. Someone doesn't see this invisible enemy right in front of them. This invisible enemy is right in front of them. They don't see it. They don't see them. They're blinded to them. Okay, I'm going to grab these and I'm done. Because I hope that kind of made sense. Some of you are like, oh, she's just fucking crazy. She's just crazy. I don't care what you think about me. Other people said that, like, this about us, Chris Jim. I wonder. Oh, I was doing that. Okay, I was, oh, I was talking about spiritual storm earlier, if you want. A spiritual storm is a difficult time in a life that can be emotionally and psychologically challenging. They can be caused by many things, including sickness, financial burdens, relationship struggles, fear, anxiety, or worry, death of a loved one. Some believe that God sends spiritual storms into people's lives for a number of reasons, including to get attention. God wants to see. That's what I was hearing. This spiritual storm that's coming in, God's trying to get someone's attention, okay? God's trying to get people's attention, not just one person, many people's attention. That's why it's going to be a big storm, okay? God wants to get people's attention and make them desperate so they will pray in a transform, tra transforming way. I said earlier, pray in a storm. It's time to pray. Psalms 91, you will be protected. Pray, pray, pray. To mature people, God wants to mature people and build them up. To reveal a person's heart. God wants to reveal a person's heart and grow them into the, his image. To test a person. God wants to test a person's faith. Are you tr are you trusting God? Are you protect are you trusting God and allowing the process to happen, okay? I wasn't trusting God in, in 2019 when all that stuff was happening. I wasn't trusting God. But I was praying. 
I didn't trust God. I started praying, and God was protecting me, and God was showing me things, and God showed me what way to go and where to go and get the help I needed and what I needed to do to be where I'm at now. Okay? Some ways to deal with a spiritual storm include trusting God as a refuge and deliverer, focusing God's promises in the Bible, looking for new insight into God, looking for new relationships, looking for renewed, like I said, rem remember some relationships, getting away with those people that were causing that, okay? Um, looking for a renewed faith that God is in control, praying that one's heart can withstand the storm, withstand the storm. You can withstand. That's why you're a warrior. Okay. You're a mentor. You can get through this. Okay. You're going to get through the storm. You're going to get through the spiritual storm. Um, praying that one will be ready. Okay. Withstand. Praying one will be ready when the eye of the storm hits. What did I say? Wow. You guys, the eye of the storm hits. One will be ready. You be ready. Okay. Praying that one will truly mean thy will be done when they say it. Thy will be done when they say it. I'm not afraid of death anymore. I'm not. If I die right this minute, after this reading, whatever, if I die, I know where I'm going. I know that this vessel won't be here. I know that I won't have this no more. But I know my soul is still on. I know I'm, my soul is not leaving. Our souls never die. I, this, this physical form, like my vessel, my avatar... I won't be in this avatar anymore, but I'll be able to be reincarnated in a different avatar or stay in the heavens, okay? I'm not afraid of death anymore. Ever since that car accident? No, I'm not. Okay, and then um, what are the different types of spiritual storms? Storms that we bring on ourselves. Well, see, storms that we bring on ourselves. That's what, okay, see, I told you, it was hard for me to explain. 2019 is some of the storms, storms that we bring on ourselves, like Solomon or Sa Samson. I brought in those storms myself. Storms that God causes, like Lake Gali, Gali, there could be a hurricane, a tsunami, okay? And storms that other people cause, as when Paul and Silas were thrown into prison. I said, somebody's going into the psych ward. Men tell us about, I went into the psych ward. I did, I, I, I checked myself in because everything was happening because all these storms were my life. I checked myself in. God told me I need to go check myself in. And I did. And then I went to treatment. Um, wow. What is the spiritual meaning of a storm? Remember this card came out right here. Death to rebirth. Right here says thunderstorms are powerful symbols of rebirth and change that takes center stage in nature's most dramatic displays. Dark clouds and thunderous occurrence single the potent cleansing process that will wash away the old and sluggish energies to make room for new beginnings and what do we do when these three ways of finding calm in the storm we give thanks and worship him for who he is okay what can be caused Na natural one that falls indiscriminately on just and unjust two a result of one's own sin sent three sent by god to whom uh, sent by God to who someone to him or to develop his child and four caused by the actions of others sometimes malevolent actions why I just fucking said this is pretty much what I just said you guys water supply okay somebody may be out of water supply okay make sure you stock up on your water supply okay the, the water could be polluted too because of the storm you guys beach natural disaster tornado storm Okay, chemicals can be getting in the water. Things can be getting in, okay? Making sure that's why, so make sure you have backup water, okay? Just make sure, you know, you need to have a backup plan, okay? Making sure you have a backup plan. Traveling, see somebody needs to escape, get away. You may need to travel, you may need to move, you need to relocate for a short period of time. Okay, or if you're traveling, make sure you're prepared for this, okay? We have government. Government may not be disclosing everything, okay? They're not preparing, I'm hearing the government's not preparing everybody for this. It says life insurance, but it's like home insurance, car insurance, whatever, uh, flood insurance. Make sure you have that, okay? Make sure you get that shit, okay? Yep, somebody be on the road, traveling. Remember, get to the safest location, shelter. Or an accident there, too. Remember, the accident came out of the car. 44 on the clock, or 44.10 on the clock. Okay, serial killer fell on the floor, and I'm like, don't know why, but I'm hearing serial killer could, this could be because of a serial killer. 
at all. Came out. Reptilian. Snakes. Mental health. Oh, let's go with the, the serial killer. The beach again. The serial killer could be causing this. The serial killer, the serial killer could be getting locked up. Mentally health. Mentally ill. Tunnel. Okay, like I said, something maybe going underground. Tunnel. Trying to get away. This also, like, when I see tunnels, I'm, like, thinking of, like, Mail Clinic. Um, like, there's tunnels there. And, like, the, um, I'm thinking, like, because Mail Clinic, when you go to St. Mary's Hospital to get to the generals, the psych, psych board, you have to go into the tunnel to get there. That's what I'm, like, looking at. So I'm going to be hiding on tunnels, too. It's a big distraction. Some kind of struggle, fight. The mountains. Okay, beach is coming out. It says yes and no, you guys, but the beach. This is a significant beach water coming out. It says yes and no. Okay, but I'm just, I'm, Spirit told me to take it because of the, the water, the beach. The devil. There's going to be a big cleanup. Okay, cleanup. Somebody's going to have uh, legal proceedings. Okay, going to court. Taking some, um... Taking somebody to court. Boat. Okay, look at the beach, the ocean. Do you have boating insurance on your thing? Okay, boats can be destroyed. Boats can be lost at sea. Sad. There's a sad again. Crying. The tears. Emotional. It's going to look like this, the landfill. Like I said, something poisonous, okay? Or poison, like, you know, all that shit that's being thrown into the ocean and stuff coming up and, like, coming onto the beach, okay? It's going to look like landfill. It's going to look like trash, okay? Garbage, okay? Because there's so much, um, from the pollution. Like, it's, it's going to be a big cleanup. There's going to be some kind of big cleanup. There's going to be a cleanup crew. You may go out and help clean up, maybe. That's what I was hearing, too. It's kind of like, I'm, like, I'm seeing, like, freaking, uh, Hurricane Katrina, how bad that was, okay? That's what I'm seeing like that. Maybe not as many fatalities, but like the destruction of building structures and everything else, okay, of homes and stuff like that. Like that's what I'm getting, like destruction of that, okay? Really bad destruction. Someone could be suing the government too because of it. Or suing someone because of this. I think I'm just going to close out with the you could be mentoring someone too that's like literally lost it someone doesn't believe in spiritual uh, storms okay I just heard somebody doesn't believe in spiritual storms okay they don't believe that stuff okay Somebody's like, it's all about the science. Like, they have to have, like, little, like, proof. Like, so I'm getting a Ryan, too. An old Ryan star seed. Like, you have to have proof before um, leaving it. And, like, it has to be, like, scientific. Like, while I was explaining about what was happening, like, that, I can't explain that scientifically. Okay, I can't. I don't have, like, it's what I experienced, what I felt, what I know. You know? And someone, I hear somebody in the back, like, in the um, collective saying, well... I don't believe it because I don't see it. We can't do that. We can't. We Our emotions don't do that to the weather. Our emotions don't create storms. Our emotions don't create winds and tornadoes and stuff like that. I don't believe that. that even though, like, they could be the ones that are doing it and they don't even believe it. Okay? I didn't believe it was happening to me. I didn't believe I could, I could do that or that other people can do it. I believe that people can do it. And it's not just me. If there's a storm brewing up in down in Florida or Louisiana or anything like that, I'm not living down there. So most likely it's not from me. It's from someone down in that area. Someone could be very powerful overseas and be doing it too. But you know what I mean? Like it's usually in your community, in your area. But we are all connected with Gaia, Earth. When she's mad, angry, she she releases. When God's mad and angry, storms come.
The Golden Phoenix, something you thought finished burst back into your life. Something burst something you finished burst back into your life. Okay. Something's bursting back into your life. And like I just heard like with the priestess card came out earlier, the high priestess. Some things I understand that I might not be able to explain to you or understand. I, I like I can give it to you, but it's you're gonna you're gonna feel it differently too and you have to like actually go through and experience it. So I can try to explain it the best I can, but it may not be the same for you as well, okay? It may be different. If anyone went through that with me, like if you feel like the same thing and you don't know explain it better, please put in the comments, explain it better. Like I was trying to explain it. If you not know explain it, if you went through that, if you're on that same level, like you understand what I'm talking about, explain it in there, please, okay? Fairy of the green world. The natural world needs you. Okay? The, the world needs you. So then, yeah. If you not explain it better than I can, then please do so. Please do so. Because I want people to understand it. And like... Eclipse Mermaid. A powerful energy shift. This is causing... This, this spiritual storm is causing a powerful energy shift. It's not just spiritual. This is a physical storm as well. And we have Angel de Los Mortos. Transition to the spiritual realm. Somebody's transitioning to the spiritual realm. Somebody's passing over. Okay. There are people going to be dying. Okay. That are going to tra uh, tra transition over. Becoming a spirit. Okay. Going to heaven. Going into limbo. Going into hell. Okay, not everyone will go to heaven. Some people are stuck in limbo, oblivion, hell. It's, I, I don't know if I can explain it the right way too. Um, right before you die, if you believe in God and you ask God to forgive you and allow God into, God into the heavens, the gates, you can be going, creating your heaven on earth and you, it's about your, state of mind consciousness okay people that die okay this i'm going to try to explain this best way as i possibly can people that die that are in a very karmic negative energy that's hateful revengeful not loving life uh a lot of trauma most likely are not going to heaven because they don't believe in heaven because if they if they were in that energy that feeling all that stuff they would have been asking God for healing and helping them and heal the trauma and, you know, bringing them to heaven, okay? Most likely, because that where they were when they passed, they were creating, they were living in hell, okay? Their state of mind, hell. So when they pass, they, that's how some people end up going to oblivion, limbo, or hell because of the state of mind that they were in when they died, okay? That's the best way to explain it. The state of mind that we are when we die, Okay? I hope that makes sense. And sometimes, like, okay, and sometimes we, we'll we never know. We're going to never know what, where somebody goes, okay? We're never going to really know where someone else goes. Like, I want to believe my mom went to heaven, but I believe that my mom, when she died, she was still traumatized in a very, very bad spot and living in a very, very bad spot. And, like, when she died, she was still living in hell. And I don't want to believe that she, when she died, she's in hell right now, okay? I feel that before my mom died, I, I feel like she asked Jesus to allow her in and forgive her sins and go to heaven. But I will never truly know that because I am not my mom, okay? I'm not my mom. But what I, how I understood it is that when we, if we die in a very, very bad spot and we didn't create our heaven on earth, we're going to be stuck in that hell and we're going to have to relive that life again. So, what, okay, how I'm saying, my mom, when she died, I don't, I don't think she fully went to heaven. I feel like she went into limbo or living in hell and she's being reincarnated again to relive those cycles again. Okay, tell she can actually, so she can be reincarnated again so she can actually try to learn the lessons, her karma, all that stuff, and then have that experience again so she can go to heaven next life. I hope that makes sense to people. But again, I don't know about other people. Like, that's how I understood it, okay? And so that's what I'm saying is, like, these storms can happen so you can start praying to God and asking God before you pass, before you leave, to 
let you go in a state of mind of conscious of heaven, okay? Of bliss. So, yeah, I don't know. My mom's in the spiritual realm. She's in the spiritual realm because her soul's still going on. But before she died, she wasn't like, before, she, like, I believe she's in the spiritual realm. I believe that she is in the ethers, okay? Protect me, help me, guide me, okay? But when she died, she died living in hell. Like, her state of mind. Because the day before she died, she was talking about how she wanted people to die, okay? She wasn't healed. She wasn't, she was still in a very bad spot. Very karmic. Even though I love my mom, she was in a very karmic spot, okay? But I believe that she's here helping me, guiding me, protecting me. Because her soul. 74. 74. Strong intuition, good luck, love, hope, peace, encouragement, divine communication. So, follow your intuition, because I think that's what spirits tell me right now. Follow your intuition. Some of you guys can think I'm crazy. Some of you guys can think I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay? You could perceive something differently. I perceive something differently. I interpret something differently. You can interpret it differently. Okay? Again, we're creating our own realities as well. So, and if you know how to explain it better, and if you guys kind of understand, like, like how I feel, then let me know. If any of you guys got that same download, let me know, okay? Because I would love to know. I would love to know. If you think that I'm wrong or you think you think it's different, please comment because I would love to know. I would love to know. But honestly, I, I don't think I will ever know where really truly what's with my mom. Scorpio, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, and number 11. I love you guys. Love, peace, light, and namaste.